We at Zach's Institutional Services pushed a major software update on Wednesday, June 29th, 2016, implementing several key enhancements to our charting tools, a key rollout of new analytic tables that present company financials, a new database of non-financial metrics and estimates, and newly available consensus estimates of various financial data such as EBITDA, EBIT, pre-tax income, cash flow per share, and several other additions. Software updates such as these occur approximately once a quarter and are based on active feedback from our clients, making the development of the ZRA system almost entirely driven by client requests, which is a distinguishing feature of Zax. If you haven't yet downloaded this latest software update, please make sure to do so by clicking on Help at the top menu and then clicking Install Updates. It's an easy process that should take about three to four minutes to complete. This video walks through the key new features from this June 29th software update. We'll begin by presenting to you the, the newest charts and tables added to ZRS in this update. The first of which is the new price action chart, which you can access under the charts tab and select price action. This chart simply looks at the performance of the main ticker versus whatever benchmark you have selected. You have the option of setting the base date upon which the price return is then calculated here at the bottom. On this chart, you also have the option of adding fundamentals of either the main ticker or the benchmark by simply clicking on this options menu on the toolbar to the top left of the chart. When the chart is plotted, each line is an absolute growth rate. You have the option to make one of the lines the baseline. When you do this, every other line on the chart becomes relative to the selected line, and the selected line is plotted as a 0% growth. To make a series the base, simply click on the desired chart. To return to the default setting without selecting a base, click on that same line again. The new Growth and Margin 2 view allows you to easily see growth rates for both earnings and sales. This view can be found under the Financials tab under the label Growth and Margin 2. The tables contain up to 30 years of historical data and up to 8 quarters of future estimates for both earnings and sales. The top two tables contain the absolute values and the bottom two tables contain the year-over-year -year growth rates. You can view these tables on a per share basis or in aggregate by making a selection at the, on the top left of the screen. To display additional historical data, use the slider at the bottom of the screen. This new view combines EPS and sales consensus estimates in one easy to read view. Both quarterly and annual estimates are displayed in addition to individual high and low estimates within the consensus and the number of analysts in the consensus. You may already know about Zax's long-standing service of providing EPS and revenue estimates and surprises since 1980. However, we've now expanded our collection of surprise data to non-financial metrics for hundreds of companies. This intraday non-financial metric surprise view is updated shortly after a company reports and includes the consensus estimate, the standard deviation, the actual, the SUE factor, and the percentage surprise. Non-financial metrics include statistics like RevPAR, which are common for hotel stocks, or same-store sales, for common, which, are, which are common for retail stocks, or, for example, total car deliveries, which are common for auto stocks. This is a critical update to Zex, as it's often these items that markets look to over and above the conventional earnings per share or revenue numbers, and it's now available here in the Surprise Activity view. 
located in the Estimates tab under Surprises. In our quest of ever expanding our databases, we've now added EBITDA, EBIT margin, EBIT, pre-tax income, and cash flow per share estimate history to our database, which is now available to chart. Here you can visualize the trend of these estimates over time and how they correlate to stock price performance. We've also added a collection of items now available in ZRS charting. You can see the full list of items here. You can now find all of these items under the Charts tab under their respective category, such as fundamental or valuation.